Hey, welcome to our scene on Mycobacterium avium, represented by Mike over here, Michael Jordan, at the Avery. And Avery is where birds hang out, or the Avery complex over here. Mike at the Avery complex for Mycobacterium avium complex. And you might have noticed that on this Avery over here, it says non-TB. And that's just to remind us that Mycobacterium avium, even though it is of the Mycobacteria family, it does not cause tuberculosis. It may cause symptoms that appear in tuberculosis, such as fever, night sweats, weight loss, etc. But it's not tuberculosis, and it has to be treated differently. Let's take a look over here. This AIDS kit over here reminds us that it shows up especially in AIDS patients. The first AIDS kit shows up in our AIDS videos. Mycobacterium avium complex shows up especially in AIDS patients. And the less than 50 sign over here with the CDs reminds us that when the CD count goes below 50, prophylaxis should begin. The reason why this aviary over here is on the soil, this soil mount, is to help us remember that Mycobacterium avium is transmitted through the soil. It can also be transmitted through drinking products, and that's why we have this water over here. But it's not transmitted from person to person like tuberculosis is. Let's take a look at Michael Jordan over here for a second. We know that it says birds are awesome. He loves birds. Birds are awesome. R is going to help us remember the treatment for Mycobacterium avium. A for azithromycin, but chlorothromycin can be used also. R is going to be for ifampin, and E is going to be for ifambutol. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on Mycobacterium avium. Take care.